What's going on guys? I'm Alexander Brown, AKA Conscience, and let's do a breakdown and a chop up of my record, Humility, off my new album, Rem, which is available everywhere. Um, this song, quite plainly, is a record about ambition and having goals in life to move forward. You know, wanting to have a house, wanting to own a car, wanting to have insurance, <laughs> wanting to be a, a good parent, wanting to be a good friend. Uh, wanting to live a life that is abundant and progressive and always changing for the better. And uh, I remember my homie Ruslan was um, flying out, uh, I believe for a show or some type of event, and he had a layover and uh, in Phoenix. And so he hit me up and said, hey man, I'm gonna be coming through, uh, you wanna link up? And uh, so we, we linked up in the airport for about a half hour or so. And we were just talking about, you know, where he was and some of the things he was trying to do. But I remember just thinking, um, man, you know, he had accomplished uh, quite a bit with the music. And I've been in music for over 15 years and uh, I have definitely not seen as much progress. And there's reasons for that for sure. Um, but as I was thinking through this in the back of my head lightly, um, I just thought, man, God, um, I know that if I keep applying myself, things will move forward. Um, whether they do or not, uh, doesn't matter. I'm still going to pursue them. And I don't wanna get to a place where I'm so isolated from my home, my family, my local church, um, to where these things become idols. They prioritize themselves above Jesus. The one thing that has always gotten me by in life in terms of my contentment is the Lord. Seeing his goodness and just being able to have a newness of life and a relationship with him. And so I know that. I constantly remind myself of that so I can appreciate that more. I fight to remember that more because life is always trying to distract you and isolate you from that reality. And um, I remember just thinking when I left and when uh, Rue went back on his flight, I remember just thinking in my car, wow, God, help me to pursue things as he, as Ruslan was, um, and, and not um, forsake the gospel and not have that be on my mind as the priority as I uh, try to progress with my various ambitions. And these ambitions are not wrong, but they can be when they don't have the proper position. And they're not even close to the contentment and the call of the gospel to um, let the lost know that, that they have a savior available to them, uh, the savior, and, and that a newness of life can be had in Christ uh, for free. We just simply have to believe in what he's done. Um, it's crazy because when we see examples of people in the Christian hip hop community, in various Christian communities, see success, a lot of times the only things we see from the camera lens because it's the only thing that people love talking about is the downfall or the swaying away from or the popularizing of the person rather than their message and their testimony of faith. And so that's what I was thinking about, you know, wow, I, I was saying, you know, I've been in a place this year and last year where the music's growing bigger than it ever has. And I've gotten relationships and resources and financial uh, stability in a way that I can pursue it. And I've seen success on the horizon more and more. And I've had some incredible accomplishments. And yet I can't help but think of all the people before me who have been in similar situations and gone even further how many times I've seen people sway away from the faith. And um, that's something I absolutely don't want for my own life. And so um, the song's really profoundly saying, God, please, uh, again, take the wheel and uh, allow yourself to be my real treasure and allow that treasure to shine so bright that whether anything is accomplished while I'm pursuing it, if nothing at all happened, I would be just as content if not more content than if I were acquiring things and accomplishing things. Um, so hopefully you can relate with that. You know, are there any, is there anything in your life that you've chased after? Um, what are your go-to things that you're seeking out in your life that 
can at some times challenge to prioritize themselves above God. I'm really interested in that, you know? Um, what things fight to steal your joy away from you in the Lord? Um, let me know in the comments. I'd love for you to DM me if you guys ever want to talk about that. I can tell you about my experiences and look through the word and see different people in God's word that have experienced the same. And uh, I think it's really a way that we can all cling together and realize, man, we are a brittle people. We chase after life like a dog toy uh, and it will never fulfill. And so um, we have to have a light grip on those things. Those things are good. They, they're cool, but they won't sustain. Um, they don't bring eternal joy. Those things are not people. Those things will be gone when we die. And so we really need to have perspective on that. Um, again, can't wait to hear you guys uh, in what was going on in y'all's mind. I hope y'all really love the record. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Peace.